Hello, it's Tamara Hunter, and today is day 22 of 365 days of awesome. Celebrate success through service. And I'm actually outside because it is such a beautiful evening, and I am celebrating life. Um, I was just on a, a webinar, uh, Zoom, and one of my advisors actually my senior advisor sherry watson i talk about her a lot and i will you guys are going to get to know her also she was talking about she went home to her small town hi patty she went down hi ed um hi sharon and she went down to her small town for a f hey 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 you'll like this story uh, she, uh, Sherry Watson, my senior advisor in nonprofit, went home to, she lives in New Mexico, and she went to a small town uh, for her 40th uh, school reunion. And I think it was 40th. I hope I got it right. And, um, but she was talking about visiting one of her board members. She, Sherry's story is so incredible. I am not going to highlight her tonight as a service hero, though I could, but I want to do it when I'm with her. Hi, Sharon. Um, and uh, what Sherry is, is that she has, she was one of the chief architects for the Americans with Disabilities Act. And yes, she is Chemo Buddies for Life senior advisor. And so Martha, my chemo buddy and I have gotten to know her pretty well and she really does work with us. And she was sharing a story today on our Zoom that we were just got off of and was talking about how when you have board members and especially if you're a nonprofit, you want to have people from the community that you're serving. So she talked about visiting one of her original board members for one of her, she's had many nonprofits, this woman. Okay, so one of them. And this lady that she, she visited was uh, older when she was a board member. She was a wheelchair-bound woman. And actually the mother, I believe, is what she said of her friend, Sherry's friend. So she goes and she, you know, there's the van that they used to go and have, she, Sherry can have shenanigans, let's say, she can be fun. Um, <laughs> in fact, she gave us an idea that she was voted biggest flirt in high school. <laughs> she said it, so I'm just sharing it. Um, oh, I hope that's okay. Uh-oh. If it wasn't. I'll be in trouble, but she, she's fine. And so she was talking about how she stopped and talked to this woman and how she's in her 80s. Yeah, laugh with me too, okay. Yeah, thanks. She's in her 80s now, and she's doing so much better than she did before. And what was the secret? You know, I was thinking to myself, and what she said was that she was working with natural natural paths that she was doing um, some alternative and healthy lifestyle choices and changes and that she was just taking control of her life in a very healthy and and much more natural way i'm not at all going anywhere with this in regards to what i think anybody going through any kind of um, health challenges should choose. However, I am a proponent of opening your mind to your choices. And throughout my life, and I have had many health challenges. Cancer is only one of them. Maybe not even the worst. I don't know. But I have always looked for what they call adjunctive therapies and so possibly using traditional hive Daryl traditional methods but then also looking for opportunities to offset it with some more natural uh, choices for example in my world I did um, uh, I love acupuncture and some of the different just some of the different um, choices that you can make. So I wanted to highlight today 
in regards to service and service heroes and just giving and and serving others in that the message that this original board member shared with my senior advisor Sherry Watson was that you know pass on the thought that that we want to serve others and that go going out and and being a part of a board and supporting your board, uh, your your executive director, um, really. Oh, Sharon, you think the same way? Good. Yeah, that's why you're doing so well, my my sister. That Sharon's one of our buddies um, with Chemo Buddies for Life. She's one of the buddies, if you will. She's definitely an ambassador buddy. Uh, so, but to to support the people in your life and to support causes and to take control of your health. So, uh, today, without even really knowing your name, I want to recognize as the service hero story of the day, celebrate success of your service, is that Sherry Watson, one of her original board members for one of her boards, way back in the day, sending the messages through Sherry and to all of us. It's like a domino effect. She's sharing the good news that you can you can actually take back your health and be healthier 20, 30 years later than you were. So I am going to do that. I have 20, 30, 40, 50 years left, right? Let's take back our, tra- our health. Hi, Rocky. No words behind me today, <laughs> and I'm working on it. I'm working on things for you. So go out there and serve another, maybe with an act of random kindness. Uh, you know, give a smile. Uh, if you're working with people, support them. Do whatever you can do to help make yourself healthier and your world around you a healthier environment. If we all do a little, just think of a lot that can happen. That's my thought for the evening. I will see you tomorrow, everyone. Enjoy. Bye.